It's recording. All right. All right, Mr. Park. Yeah. Why don't you uh, Why don't you tell me about a time when you had to nip something in the bud? Yeah. You had to nip something in the bud. Okay. Why don't you tell me about a time when you had You had to nip nip something in the bud. Okay. Go ahead. Mr. Beckley. Yep. Uh, I was I was young. Uh, at the time, uh, the robbery, the robbers came to came to my house. So uh, uh, the robbers uh, robbed the old stuff for my from for my fathers. You're right from. Yeah. Hey, actually, you know, guys, the uh, the word robbery is the event, right? Who who? What's the same word but for the person? Robert. Robert, that's it. Yeah, robbery is the event. Ah, Robert. Okay. okay. Right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, you're doing fine. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. So at the times I was, uh, I thought, I thought, that's better. Good. Uh -huh. I have to the leave the robber, robbery in the world. Okay. Yeah. Trying to trying to pronounce it. I I need to. I have to nip the robbery in the bud. In the bud. Bud. Good. Bud. Try again. I have to nip the robbery in the bud. I have to uh, leave the robber, robbery in the bird. Okay, cool. You know, what's happening with the word in, uh, I hear there's other Korean folks, in, L, and R, the letter in and L and R. You're saying lit, which is this. Yeah. Okay, so I hear you saying, I need to nip the robbery in the bud. Try it again. I have to leave. Nip. 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 Yeah, see what's happening, feel, feel what's happening when you guys say nip, everybody, nip. Nip. What, where where is your tongue? Mm. Nip. Yeah, nip. right behind your teeth, isn't it? Nip. Mm? Nip. Let's try and lip. Nip. I kind of stick it out a little bit. So the, the tongue is kind of right there for nip, and then you put it right here for lip. It's kind of flat. Uh, you know. Everybody, nip. 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 Cut. You know. Lip. Nip. That thing. Okay? Rip. That's a different sound, right? Nip, lip, rip. Three different sounds for me. Anyway, uh, is this true? You really had a robbery? In your uh, no, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was so amazed. That's amazing. Yeah, just remember, robber is the person, and robbery is the event. Yes. Robbery. robbery, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Park. All right. Um, so you're Mr. Park, and she's Ms. Park. You guys are not related, are you? <laughs> no? I'm just curious. It's a very common name. It's like Smith in America, right? That's my name, yeah. Ms. Park, we'll go with you. Uh, next, um, how about you tell me about a time when uh, you, you, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah. Do you have a paper? Or? Uh, yeah. Oh, you're, okay, you're good. Okay. <laughs> um, why don't you tell me about a time when uh, someone you knew got away with something? Got away with something, All right? Ah, uh, yeah. I heard uh, one of the st anecdotes from one of my friends. Uh, he, when he was in the elementary school, mm -hmm. yeah, he was very <laughs> mischievous. Uh, mischievous. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Mischievous. Mischievous. So he was tried to nail down uh, one of the uh, pictures of the classroom. So he was, there's a letter, with, uh, so he Made it for each letter. <laughs> yeah. So, but it, he did it with his friends, all of them. But he was the last person who was nailed, and he was being noticed by another teacher. Yeah. Oh, so he was the only person who was punished. Oh, he was the only person punished because yeah. he was the last person, person. who was nailing. Yeah. The he and he did not whisper. He did not talk to anybody. Yeah. I mean, he he's a good person, so he took in charge of everything. He took charge of everything, yeah. or I mean, he took the blame. Yeah. Hey, you know, there's a word for this. Uh, not uh, well, you know, he did not tell. Yeah. Anybody. You know, yeah. What's the? There's a word expression meaning like you can like reporting to the police, yeah. right? <laughs> Your friend, the anecdote of your friend, right? There's a big gang of people being mischievous. Did you hear the word she said? That was good. Everybody say mischievous. mischievous. Playfully bad, you know? <laughs> doing bad things, but you're doing it for fun. As a prank. Is that the word prank? You're doing something fun? And if you guys picture what she's talking about, there's a letter on the wall, and they're like, like, 
made it permanent on the wall. You cannot pull it off. It was so okay, that's funny. Um, mischievous. Anyway, there's an expression for not reporting to the police or reporting yeah. to authorities. Yeah. He did not tell on yeah. tell on yeah. his gang members or his friends, right? Or did he, he did not snitch. It's another word, snitch. S N I T H. Snitch. Which means to tell report to the authorities. No, they did it too. You know, he was a loyal friend, I guess, huh? Yeah. Okay. Good, uh, good example. And I like the other word you said, uh, anecdote. Huh? <laughs> hey, nice. Got a, a lot of vocabulary words in there. Uh, yeah, good example. Yeah, he, um, he did not get away with it. I think that's what you were trying to say, right? Uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> that's okay. There, I was distracted with all, everything else you said, which is great, too. All right, Lila, let's go to you. Uh, why don't you tell me about a time when you had to put up with something uh, or someone? Mm -hmm. Sometimes with my husband, or sometimes with my in-laws, I put up with them. Okay, you do, huh? Yeah. How so? I'm without being too specific, uh, not too personal. Uh, but what do you mean? Like, uh, right now I'm a student. And I'm housewife too. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I have a lot of burden of both sides. Yeah. I just study and, and right. the housework too. Right. So I put up with them. Oh, you put up with them. Yeah. <laughs> no? Okay, that's fine. But you know what that tells me when you say I put up with them means that they are um, they are annoying maybe. No, that's not necessarily what you mean. That they're annoying or that they, they put they, they add to your burden. That they add to your burden? burden? Sometimes they do, or sometimes accidentally it's happened. Oh, okay, then, then you're right. Then you are putting up with them. Right, right cool. Yeah. Because, yeah, you get the idea that you're enduring specifically them, the people in your family. And, in a broader sense, you are putting up with this stressful life you have right yeah. now, too. Yeah. <laughs> you have to go to school, and you have to be a housewife, too, on top of everything. Okay. No, that's good. Yeah, you could put up with people. Right. It's so funny, actually, you know, I, I had the same questions for second period. Mm -hmm. Everybody, for get away with and put up with, everybody had stories about their family. So, <laughs> they did. I mean, like, nobody, except for one person that was, puts up with their boss. But everybody puts up with their family. Yeah, it's just, it's funny. Everybody lives like, uh, Ricky, there you are. Okay, let's talk to you, man. Why don't you tell me about a time when you said, I can't take this anymore. You want to think about it? I'll come back to you? Okay. Sure, I'll come back to you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to uh, Ian. Yeah, why don't you tell me about a time when uh, someone made someone, something up just to get attention. Someone made something up just to get attention. Okay? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I, I need to point the camera to you. Hang on. One more time. Hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is really good. I don't want you to miss this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. All right. All right. Let's listen to Ian's story. Ready? There we go. And, and action. I, uh, while I was in high school, uh, I was uh, uh, playing with my friends. Uh, I don't So you made the computer up. Yeah. Now that tells me that you invented, or or, or you. Now that means that you invented the computer, yeah. which is not actually it's not right. I mean, let's see. What do you? What, tell me what you think you mean. What is? What do you mean? You make up a computer. What, what does that mean? I mean, I'm, I like uh, I, I living living with computer. Well, I like what? I mean, I, I play computer every day. So oh, like use okay. You're using it every day. Okay. Well, no, actually, uh, to make up means to, like, uh, usually means to create an idea in your head, okay? Um, if you want to talk, uh, now, uh, you, maybe you use a different expression, I mean, like, I used it every day, maybe I'd say I, um, I don't know, I, I used it every day, right? But if you make up a computer, that means you invented the device, right? 
uh, I made up that idea. Or, more commonly, it means I lied about something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made up that story about... Someone already had something about that, right? Yeah, well, no, nobody did. Okay, yeah, I made up that story about my mom. Yeah, my nephew makes up stories. Sometimes he's lying, sometimes he's imagining and he's creating things. He's a little boy, you know? Anyway, that's what makeup means, all right? Okay. And you know what a makeup is? Ladies, put makeup on your face. Yeah, it's my French. Yes, if you think about that, it's the same idea. It's a lie, you know? Think it, right? Okay, okay, yeah, that's what they call it, makeup. Okay. You're making yourself up. You don't put any makeup yeah. on? Seriously? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I never use anything. Huh? I never use anything. They never use it, huh? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Some, pe some people don't need to. All right, thanks, Ian. Um, all right, let me get that in there. Yeah, you know, you can give it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Okay. Uh, Ms. Joy, let's hear from you. Why don't you tell us a story about a time when. Uh, you needed to nip something in the bud. You needed to nip something in the bud. Go ahead. So when I open an uh, account, um, checking account with the Buckle Bank, I, um, every month I was charged $15 for a monthly fee. Oh, for a what fee? Hmm, I'm not sure what the, the kind of fee is. Anyway, uh, just keep going. That's right. Like a monthly fee? Yeah, that's what she's saying. A monthly fee. That's it. Okay, anyway. Yes, I, I went to the bank and the banker recommended me to open a saving account. Mm. Yes, and I didn't want to do that. Mm. So I decided uh, to close my account. Hmm. Good. A pronoun. So, yeah. so I decide to close my account. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, that I think your situation uh, works. It fits. So you can either nip that situation in the butt, either by getting a savings account, right, or just closing it before your monthly fee. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. yeah okay. Let's say it again. One more time. Mo uh, say monthly fee. Monthly fee. Monthly. Yeah. A stronger th. I heard the, no, it's not just you, okay, I don't want to harp on focus on little things. Like, you was a fantastic story. You, your grammar was right. And for the most part, your, your pronunciation was very good. Even from way over there, I understand you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I noticed that with uh, some other students, the TH sound. You know, it was you, and I know it was Ian as well. Yeah, yes. And you had the TH word, um, stick your tongue out, right? All right, yeah. So it won't be... Um, Monthly. It'll be monthly, right? Okay. All right. Uh, but you, yeah, you didn't really do that. Yeah, this is a different situation. Hey, Joy, that was great. Thank you very much. Uh, let's move on to uh, Jasper, who's not here. Oh, there he is. I'm sorry. Right next to Joy. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Why don't, we, uh, why don't you tell me about a time when uh, you said, I can't take this anymore? Huh? This is a story that happened a few years ago. Okay, good. When I was in Korea. Good. Uh, at the time, I was meeting with my friend. The problem was a friend of mine did some uh, kind of over romantic act <laughs> with action with his girlfriend, okay. just in front of me. Okay. So at first, I tried to <laughs> put up with them. But, yeah. But after 10 minutes or some 20 minutes. Wow, really? I said, okay. I can't take this anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is embarrassing, right? <laughs> real, real story. Hey, Jasper, at your story, I understood every word. And yeah, and I like it. It's also, it's tricky to be kind of delicate and careful when you're talking about sexuality, right? Mm -hmm. 
kind of, something. Overly romantic act. Yeah. Over romantic. Over means too much. You guys know that already. Nice. That was a nice choice. Yeah, yeah. Using pronoun that way. And yeah, you, you, you couldn't put up with it anymore. That's right. You're putting up with it. And he's like, oh, I can't take this anymore. Because you, you know what they call, um, if there's three people together and they're very romantic, you're like what they call the third wheel. Have you ever heard that expression? <laughs> A bicycle does not need a third wheel. Huh? I mean, it's fifth wheel. That's right. That's, uh, they also say the fifth wheel. That's right. A third wheel is another one, right? It's, yeah, a bicycle need only needs two wheels. A car only needs four. So you're the third wheel, really. Or the fifth wheel, whatever. In that case. The problem is I was a single at the time. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, it would be better if you were overly romantic with a girl. and this, Never mind. Okay, gotcha. Hey, uh, that's good. Good example, Jasper. And I understood you perfectly when you said it. Okay, Ahmed. Uh, let's hear from you, man. Uh, point it this way. All right, we're back over here. Okay, so Ahmed, um, why don't you tell me about uh, a time when uh, someone got away with something, okay? Let me try that one. Okay, I'll come back to you. Okay, good. Uh, that reminds me, I've got to go back to uh, Mr. Ricky. Okay, Ricky, ready? Yeah, you uh, you had the one from earlier, uh, so uh, go ahead. You guys remember what I gave him? It was like, uh, oh yeah, I can't take this anymore. Right. Yeah. Tell us about that time. Mm, my story is uh, about uh, when I was a uh, uh, child is study in the middle school okay. and in the middle school um, is uh, very very much more uh, a lot of a lot of homework every day mm -hmm. and we have uh, too much pressure okay pressure and, yeah and always Every day is uh, too much homework, and we uh, we can finish all the homework every day. Okay. And and after after the after that week, and I uh, talk to the teacher uh, next uh, the the other week. Uh -huh. And I say hmm. uh, I can take this anymore, and because it's too much homework, we can't finish mm -hmm. it okay. at one day. Okay, I can't finish it in one day. You know, Ricky, I, I think your situation works for this. Uh, but I tell you what, there's a lot of things um, uh, with your pronunciation and word choice. I think if you just told the story again, one more time. A lot of that may be smoothed over. Let, let's try it again, all right? Go ahead, Ricky, one more time, all right? Mm. The story is about when, when I was a, a student in, in the middle school. That's cool. Middle um, school, yeah. That's fine. Middle school. Uh, in, in my school, is, uh, uh, we have a lot of homework and okay. pressure. Good start, man. I just remember everything in your story is in the past, so okay. just be mindful that your verb's got to be in past tense, okay. okay? Yeah, you're doing fine. We had a lot of homework. Uh, homework mm -hmm. and pressure. Pressure. Yeah. Try to say that word, pressure. 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 It's a sh sound there, you know. Pressure. Okay, keep going. You're doing fine. Uh, and. Yeah? And because we. We can finish. We couldn't finish. We couldn't finish uh, all the homework uh, as a day. In one day. In one day. Yeah. Or then each day. It's fine. We we felt that mm -hmm. bad. Okay. The sure. Bad feeling. No, no. You were, we we felt bad about that. Uh -huh. you say that we felt bad about that. We sure. felt that bad about that. That'll work. Sure. Okay. Doing fine. And. The other day, I, I told... Well, okay, now, the other day is very recent, but this is many, many years ago. Now, you could say one day. One day, I, 
I tried. I tried. I tried to talk to. Talk. Talk. Talk to the to the teacher. There you go. Good. Better. And say we can't take this anymore. All right. Good. That's a quote. And then we can't. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, because that's a quote. All right. Well, we'll end it there. Okay, Rick. That's good. That 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 situation works for this story. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Just remember. I think the main thing with you is just remember to keep verbs in past tense. Okay. And there's a couple of words like pressure, you know, yeah, yeah, pressure. Thing, no pronunciation issues, but mostly the the grammar. Uh, okay, keep it in past past tense. All right, let's go to. Um, uh, oh, you ready, man? Yes. Uh, let's go back to Ahmed. Uh, Ahmed. Is it Ahmed or Ahmed? Ahmed. Ahmed. I'm totally wrong. Okay, good. All right, let's hear your story for what I asked you earlier. Um, yeah, whatever it was, I can't uh, remember now. Get away with. Yeah, that's right. Get away with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Go for it. Uh, I remember the. I went with my friend to Disneyland. Okay, good. In California. Uh, yeah. There's a game there, it's named uh, Riddle, Riddle Coaster, something like that. Yeah, there's a game there? Yeah, okay. it's Riddle Coaster, it's like a car, a play on the real road. Oh, I know the roller coaster. roller coaster. Yeah, roller coaster, you, you pronounce it right. Yeah, keep yes. going. Uh, he asked me to play it. Yeah. When I saw the <laughs> roller coaster, when I the game, uh, I feel it's like, it has high speed and okay. it's flip and right and lift around. Yeah. I told him I I I got the, I told him I cannot play I cannot play it because I, I it makes me feel dizzy. Okay. And I might throw up. Mm -hmm. and I can't Good. I can't I can't play it. I, I, I got I got. No, that's fine. No, actually, I don't want to stop you, man. But uh, usually, um, a roller coaster is not a game, right? Uh, so I don't usually play a roller coaster. What do I do? Uh, to, ride. Yeah, ride a roller coaster. Right there, you go. Use that word instead. Okay. Keep going. You're doing I can, fine. I can't I can ride it. There you go. I asked him. I, I, I got away to pretend that. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I got away with. Uh, say I, got, I got away with. I pretended that I threw up and I feel dizzy if I play it. Oh, I see. So you were kind of lying a little bit. Yes. Maybe, but yeah. you just more okay. Afraid. Actually, I'm lying. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Lying. Okay, you, you were you were lying. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, because I can't I can't do this. You can't write it. I can't write it. There you yeah. go. Uh, because of the fear, right? Yeah. Is that the main thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, by the way, if I say I got away with. Um, lying about lying. you. Got to put a gerund after uh, put away. Got away with. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got away with lying about, or I got away with uh, telling him mm -hmm. that I will throw up if I go if I ride this roller coaster that flips and all the words you said. Yeah. Okay, Ahmed. That's a good example. Yeah. He believed you, huh? He never knew that you were lying. Yeah? All right, nice. Okay. First time, but second time, he has a video camera and take video for me and say, hey, man. All right. Oh, my God. Yeah, your friend is... Yeah. Okay, so we'll go to Rahim. All right, man. Let's hear your story for... Uh... Oh, hang on, Rick. We've got to listen to story to from uh, Mr. Rahim now, okay? All right, so... Why don't you tell me about a time when you had to put up with something, or uh, you had to put up with someone? Okay. That's right. There you go. Yeah, it's just kind of like uh, the story. Remember uh, when uh, Lila said she has she puts up with her family, uh, kind of endures and keeps going. Yeah, you try something. Uh, like my story is about my girlfriend. Okay. Like we've been in relation since last three years, and okay. now. Like, Hang on, guys. Uh, yeah, just whisper if you can. All right. Yeah, just, go ahead. Because I'm recording. Okay. Yeah, go. And now, like last couple of months, like she was trying so weird, and like she was not giving me a proper response. So like I thought to give it up, and I gave it up okay. on her. Oh, oh okay. Oh, you, you're trying to give up. You're, you're breaking up, right? Yeah. Oh, I see. I decided to, to break up with her or, or give up. It's fine. I decided to give up, give up with her. 
Oh, actually, you know, okay, if you want to say give up, then I'd say I'd me, I decided to give up um, the relationship. The object would be like the relationship. Uh, or an, uh, the other phrasal verb, you could say break up with her, if you wanted to. The break up with her means the same thing, like you're quitting the relationship. I tell you what, one more time, brother, start over, okay? All right. Uh, my story is about me and my girlfriend. Good. Like, we've been in relation since last three years. Mm hmm And... Since last couple of months, like she was trying so weird and like was not responding properly. Okay, she was trying so weird. Oh, you're yeah. saying weird? Yeah, weird. Strange? Strange. Yeah. Okay, she was acting weird. That's usually the verb I use. She was acting weird. She was acting weird mm -hmm. and like was weird. not responding properly. Okay, okay. So I tried to keep up on her, with her. Oh, it's okay, yeah. I tried to give up uh, the give up on the relationship. Put up with her. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's that? Put up with her. Oh, I put up with her. Oh, oh, that's different. That's different than breaking up, right? Okay, wait a minute. So you're still together? Oh, well, never mind. You're not breaking up. Never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's very different, right? You first said give up, which means quit. Yeah, like I decided to quit up with her. Oh, I see. Uh, what you mean to say is you, you, you're, you're going to allow her to continue to act weird. Is that kind of, right? Okay. Well, then you'd really, then what you said, give up, I thought you meant to break up the relationship. Enough. I quit with the, okay. I decided to put up with her, right? Or put up with her behavior. Yes. Okay, cool. There you go. That, that's what you want to say. Yeah. Well, there's a little, little confusion there. Okay, man. Thank you, sir. All right. So, let's try Mrs. Lee. Thank you for your patience. Bye, uh, everybody. Waiting around. Um, let's ask you about this one. Uh, can you tell me about a time when someone got away with something, huh? Yeah, got, someone got away with something, and, yeah. Uh, it's me. <laughs> huh? it's, it's my story. Oh, right. Yeah, Good. when I was the, uh, in schools, uh -huh. uh, I disliked the uh, physical class. Especially uh, the boarding horse. Wow, you did that in your physical class? Oh, yeah, what do they yeah. call it? Physical education yeah, class? It, yeah, it was very scary for me. Hmm. So uh, sometimes I, uh, I, got, I got away to. Got away with. Pretending to be safe. Okay, good. Yeah, say it. I got away with. Say yeah. it again. I got away with pretending. There you go. Right, right. You pretended to be sick, and so is it. And then nobody, be everybody believed your lie. Yeah. Right. A vaulting horse. Can you guys exp uh, you you picture you tell the people in there with you know you know what that is? No. Okay. Explain what that is in in your words. What does that mean? Uh, yeah. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> Can you do that? You picture it in your mind? Oh, yeah. uh, it's, it's something like obstacles. Good. Uh, uh, I run. I running and jump uh -huh. and uh, over. Yeah, it's like uh, gymnastics. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah. It's, it's just like a piece of. It's like a long. It's like a. It's like a hot dog giant <laughs> on sticks, you know. And you just run really fast and you put your hands on it. Flip around. That's why I'm surprised they did that in PE class, physical. Yeah. Class. Mm -hmm. yeah, they said physical class. We call it physical education or short PE. Yeah. Yeah, we, I always called it P.E. class. And P.E. was just very general. Played basketball, you know, did my homework, you know, stuff like that. Good, good example. You got away with lying. Huh? Here, right now in high school, they have to mile run. Oh, they have to run a mile? Yeah, yeah. Without stop. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah. They notice the time on the clock and hmm. I do they integrated it. Is it a middle school? Uh, in high school? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of hard. I, usually I'd save that. That would be for like track or something. Well, I don't know. It all depends on different school. I, I went to high school in Corpus Christi, so. You think that's kind of harsh? Yeah. Yeah, too much maybe for your kid? Mm. Okay. Awesome, cool. Hey, thank you, Mrs. Lee. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to give you that. All right. Mm, Mrs. Na, Mrs. K over there. All right. Why don't you tell me about a time when you needed to nip something in the bud, huh? Uh, mm -hmm. Stop a problem before it gets worse, huh? Go ahead. Um, 
one of my church members' son has a bad behavior. Hmm? Like uh, when others to tell something to him, mm -hmm. he talk back to others. It's good. So talk back. Good. Uh, I need to be. Talk back in the bus. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's talking back. Uh, talking back in the bus. Yes. Right. Because uh, I want to, the time I want to prevent him, uh, his bad acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, when you want to prevent his bad actions, maybe. Actions and stuff, yeah. Well, you want to prevent him from becoming a terrible teenager or something, right? Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah, that's a good example. <laughs> You know, I like your phrasal verb. You say he talks back. That's different than responding. You know, you you explain what talking back is in English. Can you do that? Yeah. What is talking back? <laughs> Not in Korean. Yeah. Uh, okay. If others uh, say don't uh, don't mm -hmm. say that again. Yeah. And then kids talking back to others. Mm -hmm. A does Sure. A. Right. Okay. Right. Copy? Well, and that's not not the idea of copying necessarily. <laughs> it's the idea of uh, yeah. If some if an adult commands you to do something, then then the child will respond disrespectfully. Is the idea? Yeah. I was like, oh, why should I do that? Because <laughs> I'm a, no, no. I mean, we don't hit our children in America all the time. So you know. <laughs> But no, that's the idea. You, a, a child talks back. That's a specific idea in our mind. It's like they're being disrespectful to a, a direct command from a, an authority figure. Um, and, you know, you nip it in the bud, probably but not, you're not hitting the kid. No, 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 no you're, you're, you're scolding the kid. I know what you mean. But, and so, in fact, actually, the noun, uh, they call, uh, he practiced, or he, 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 he Talk back. He was. Uh, it was called back talk. Sometimes I call that. Uh, he was doing back talk. It's kind of a slang way of doing it the same way, uh, saying it the same way. He was talking back. He was participating in back talk. You know, disrespectful response from children he's to adults. Back answer. Hmm? He's giving back answer. Well, I actually no. I don't say it that way. No. I. Yeah. Th then that might be very general. I think you're talking about a response or. He's he's uh, not you know being quiet. And he's just they responding. Argue with us. Yeah, well then, yeah, I would use that very specific phrase, talk a back talk or yeah. talking back. Yeah, those two words have a very specific idea in my mind that yeah, disrespectful uh, behavior from children to adults. Yeah, good. Hey, uh, and uh, that's a good example about nipping something in the bud. You phrased it right. I need to nip that action in the bud or his behavior or whatever it was. Good. All right, uh, all right, Juan, uh, let's hear from you. Why don't you give us a story about, come on, computer, all right. Can you tell us about, a, uh, we've done a lot of these. Well, I've never, okay. Tell us about a time when you said, I can't take this anymore. Okay, uh, I planned those, a project for several months. Mm -hmm. Then I tried to finish it within a month, mm. then, but it, I kept kept on failing and failing. Okay. So finally, I I told myself in disgust that I cannot take it anymore. Wow, nice. I told myself in disgust. Wow, that's uh, you know I understood everything you said. That was fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Disgust. You know the word disgusting, right? Yeah. It's the adjective. You're, that's the noun, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like you were just. Frustrated, I told myself in disgust, I mean like, ugh, I'm done, yeah, like, good, good example, yeah, good, uh, nicely said, too, fantastic, Mr. Juan, come on, computer, don't do that to me, all right, nope, stop, all right, all right, do it, save the best for last, all right, this better be good, everybody has high expectations, Okay, yeah, whatever. Um, why don't you tell me about a time when someone got away with something, okay? My daughter, mm -hmm. 
she don't like to go to school. She doesn't want to go to school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she every day makes something so she can skip the school. <laughs> oh, well, she makes up something. Yeah. Makes up something. Makes there you go. She lies. Yeah. Okay, good, good. So she can skip the school. Uh -huh, but good. I understand that she is making up uh, reasons. Good. Yeah. So I tell her, no, mm -hmm. you can't skip the school. You have to go. <laughs> yes, right. Awesome. Um, can you use uh, get away with in a sentence? Yeah, yeah try that. Yeah. yeah. Like your daughter can't, for example. Oh, that's the one I told you, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I told you. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. She's not able to. She got a baby. Well, she's trying to, you, but you're able to see that she's yeah. lying, right? Yeah. yeah. You say so. she can't. Yeah. Yeah, you try. Yeah, you try. You can't. She can't get away with it, for example. Right? Yeah, she can't get away with it. There you go. I understand that. her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, I tell her, mm -hmm. you're not excused. Uh -huh. There you, you go. You, can, you can't go. Get away with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good, good. I, I would say that even as a, a directly, yeah. Say it that way. All right, everybody. It sounds like everybody was so, uh, was really, uh, for the most part, everybody was really prepared. And so this is what we're going to do. You know what? we got just a couple minutes. I'll just pass these out. Like I said, your TOEFL words for tomorrow, 11, 12, 13. Okay? 11, 12, and 13. I will put uh, the whole week's, uh, the whole week on the website. Um, I'll tell you what, we got a couple minutes, so I'll pass these out to you and uh, preview for our listening activity for tomorrow. Uh, these, uh, I'm sorry, this episode has a lot of phrasal verbs. Fantastic. And I liked uh, tomorrow's episode too because it's. Um, a lot of the comedy is uh, spoken. It's not a lot of physical comedy, and so it takes a lot of uh, listening, which I prefer. There you go. That's for tomorrow. All right. Again, um, you don't you don't necessarily have to uh, to do this. You know, your yeah, your homework tonight is just to make a sentence for eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Yeah. And I just hand this to you. If you want to preview, check it out a little bit. We'll go over it tomorrow, but don't worry about this, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you later.